So it's time for me to build something a little bit different. Let's see if you could take a look at this right here, these pieces, slap it together and tell me exactly what this is in the comment section down below. What's good guys, I'm here to build one of the first Star Wars ships that I ever wanted to attempt on the channel. This isn't the first Star Wars ship because I've tried to build the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I tried. I'm a lot better at shipbuilding now, so I am going to give that another shot next. But this one right here, this is coming off the Mandalorian, and I'm really excited to bring this build to you guys. It's super easy, super quick. So let's jump straight into it. We'll hop into the flight test and the showcase. Um, it's nothing too special on the inside. This thing is all for the looks. I had to go for this Kabat C4 bridge. And the reason why I ended up using this and not the original, I'll show the original on screen right now. The reason why I went for this and not the original is because this gives me more of the vibe or the look that the N1, I mean, the Star Wars represented ship that I built. <laughs> the, the N1. It's the N1 Starfighter, if you don't know already. Um, this is giving me more of the front end of the N1 Starfighter's look than what I was doing before. And then the whole scheme that I have going here that goes straight into the engines is just cracked out to me. So if you want to skip to a specific part of the build and check the chapter list down below, but without further ado, let's get into it. So we start off with the base, the bottom, this right here. We have the RD 3000 beta grav drive. It's a class B. I wasn't trying to put anything too special in here. It has 10 power, 36 thrust, and 180 health. Right behind it is one of the best reactors in the game. Why? Because it's only a class B, but it's literally giving you one or two less than the highest ranked reactors in the game. So this thing is packing a punch. This is the 104 DS mag inertural reactor. Inertial reactor. That's a word and a half, but hey, I'm gonna pretend like I said that right. And right behind it, we have the 5T helium tank with 210 fuel in it. Not too bad. Just behind that, you have the Deimos 120 LD landing bay, and you wrap that thing up like a bow with this Nova Cowling SL and this Nova Cowling SLSM. And that's the whole base right there. You're done finished <laughs> that's all it is to it like it's literally just that easy for the second layer we have this right here this right here is going to be the actual um main floor of the ship because the bay goes in there but there's a ladder that goes up to this part of the ship and this is going to be the main floor of the ship so you have the Deimos companion way that goes into the Deimos all-in-one berth which is a three by one one of my favorite halves in the game and then you have the Deimos Captain Quarters right in the back with a Nova Cowling upside down, just the way it is like this. You have some Nova Cowlings and some SLs and some SMs on the side. So you just want to tag all of these up right here. If you're on controller, you're using the RB button. And you want to drag and drop. Now, this actually is going to sit it sits in flush with one another. These two pieces sit in flush with one another like a sandwich, just like this. So match it up with the bottom and you'll be good to go. Boom. And there you go. You have the whole first layer of the entire ship built and ready to go. Let's move on to the wing. So this wing right here has a Stroud mid bracer. It also has an NG20 landing gear wide. It has two Stroud engine bracers, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then over here, it has the Nova braking engine, which isn't attached to anything but this wing right here. And then you have a special thing going on at the bottom. This right here took a little bit of finesse. So I grabbed the Acure Lander 11 landing gear because these had both a front and a back connection to them, which allowed me to then slap on this Tayo braking engine on the front which gives me that engine look that the M1 Starfighter has to it. And then I slapped a Omdune engine right on the back and this thing moves 
hella fast and it sounds sick when it does it and to try to give it the more of a pointy look I went with the Nova Cowlink 2 LTA and this is as close as I could get it to make it look the way that I want it without sacrificing you know a little bit of speed you want to assemble all these pieces in order like this go ahead and highlight both of them just like that grab it and set it right on the right side of the wing boom you're done on the other side we have this right here this is the vanguard bulwark shield generator i slapped this on here so it could actually be a practical build so you can actually use this and it'll be amazing because if you look down at the stats it has 1191 hull 1450 shield not bad um 320 cargo not too bad two crew slots 30 light years of jump 100 mobility and 140 top speed it's doing pretty dang good doing pretty dang good so you'll take this whole wing over here and slap that right on the opposite side and you're practically done with this entire build like that was the hardest part now with that being said we'll go ahead and we'll grab the next layer this has the workshop just because I figured as the Mandalorian, if I'm going to be a bounty hunter, then I need some type of workshop to, you know, fix up my guns and spacesuit and whatnot. So I thought it was more of a good role play option to add a workshop on the top floor. And you just go ahead and you slap that right on like a sandwich. So it should go in perfectly aligned with this back portion right here to give it kind of like a pointy tail look. And just like that, you finally get to the ending of the build. We'll go ahead and slap these pieces together real quick. So you'll just grab these. You have a Nova Cowling going into a Nova Cowling TLTM or 2LTM. This is going into a 110 DP Docker. And that goes into a Nova Cowling 1LTF. You can go ahead and slap all those pieces together like that. Highlight them. Bring it over towards the ship and just slap it right there on the front. And boom, there you have it. You could bring it to the front like this, but then it hangs over a little bit and it doesn't actually look right. Or you could just put it just like that, right in flush with it. And you're almost done. Now you can already see the N1 vibe right there alone. So what I did was I went through so much trouble with this front end. Like I tried to put caps on this. Let's see, do I have caps in here? I, I tried so many different vibes with this one. I tried to just do something similar, like a Hope Tech nose. That wasn't doing it for me. I tried to put some Hope Tech pipes on either side and kind of line those up with these to kind of make it look like it was pointy. And the engine kind of had like that wingish type vibe to it, but I ended up gutting that. Um, I tried these. I tried these Stroud breakers and they just didn't do it for me. It's just not enough. And plus the main issue with this build is the cockpit. That is the true killer of this entire build because there's so many cockpits that you just cannot use. For example, this is the most useless cockpit in the game. The Viking CP 220 cockpit. And it, I, I'm wrong. I know I like this cockpit a lot, but when it came to this cockpit, and this build they did not match and i was extremely frustrated what i mean is this is the perfect size to give you exactly the look that you're looking for to make this look perfectly like the n1 if you design this front end properly but if you look right here you see those two circles on the front you can't attach anything right there but weapons so that alone ruined it for me and then I went through the trouble of trying to find all these other ones like I tried the samurai and the samurai is giving me a similar vibe but it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for and then I took a leap and I tried you know I tried everything all the different types of cockpits in the game some of them were too skinny so I gave up and went over and got this one right here this is the Kabat C4 bridge and you slap it on there just like that and bada bing. This is this is it. This is the N1. I'm really proud of this build. Like it's not bad at all. It's a great representation of the Star Wars 
and one build, in my opinion. I think I did a damn good job, so I'm really proud of myself. And let's take this thing for a spin. Ah, uh, this was one of my, I snatched one of these ships right here and I tried to turn this into the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't really go so well. I mean, this looks pretty close to the Millennium Falcon and I do have an extremely solid idea. Like I want three engines in the back. Of course, I want this reactor right here, the Pinch Z, and I also want some of those cowlings that I just used on my last ship to wrap around this ship in certain areas. And I only want it to be one floor, not like three floors like this one. So yeah, we're definitely gonna make that ship, but just not today. Okay then, now that we have finally got our ship ready, let's get it. So you're actually gonna be extremely surprised. As small as that ship looks, it's actually extremely large. <laughs> it's not small at all. It's because of the design that it's really demanding on the look of this build. But anyways, this right here is the M1. It has like a dual wing, double wing thing going on right there. Just ignore that, you didn't see that. And we'll go and we'll hop on board. It's an extremely simple ship though. It's not trying to do too much at all. You hop right in and boom, you're sitting in the three by one, what's good? You're sitting in the beautiful three, three by one Deimos living quarters. It's self-explanatory. Then over here in the back, you have the captain's quarters, which of course we always have somebody in there, creepy enough. And then right here we have the dock. So. Boom, you have your docker right there, as well as every single wonderful workshop that you'll ever need. All right, so you know what time it is. I think it's time for us to fly off this rock. I'll give it a quick save just in case something terrible goes wrong. And there she goes. Jeez. She's fast as all hell, I'll tell you that right now. She is not afraid to get up and go at all. She's looking absolutely phenomenal. You must say she's a beauty. And there you have it. That right there is the N1 Starfighter. One of the coolest and most iconic builds that I've tried to attempt to build on the channel so far. But we're going for that Millennium Falcon. Like, I'm going to use all the skills and abilities I have acquired from all these ship builds up until this point. And we're going to make the perfect, yes, I mean the perfect Millennium Falcon. So if you like what we do here on the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and stuff like this for Starfield. This is your boy, Emma M since HD. For now, I'm out of here. For everybody that stuck around with me, let's break some stuff down and figure out where exactly you built this thing. So we're gonna pull up the map real quick. This ship was actually extremely difficult to build. I started to try to build this at an outpost and I had no luck whatsoever because there's so many different things or modules that I wanna use in my ship that they just don't have. So I skipped out on that. The places that you're gonna to need to visit in order to build this is going to be Volley 2 or the Stroud Eklund Star Yard. Now, if you go to Volley 2, you need to be aware of the fact that that place is highly a crashy buggy mess. Parima, drop down into Parima and go to Parima 3. That's right here at the top. Um, some other places that you should probably look into you also need to visit New Homestead and you need to visit Hope Town in order to get every single piece that you need for this build. I'm gonna leave a list right here of all the building materials and where exactly I could find them. And this should definitely help you out. If you like what we're doing on the channel, make sure you smash the like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out 
on any more tips, tricks, guides, and everything else like this for Starfield. This is your boy Emma MCHD. For now, I'm out of here.